Hey, what's good, brothers and sisters? It's your brother Malachi Elias, back with another quick word today from Prayer Mountain. <laughs> I pray you're doing well. So the Lord's been stirring up on my heart. Man, I was feeling his presence so heavy out here. I was just melting in bliss. I was writing a track and man, I couldn't even continue. I, I just started melting in bliss and tears coming to my eyes. God's presence, man. There's no high like the most high family. Make sure we're getting into his presence. He'll take away any of that stress, depression, any uh, spiritual attacks. He'll take it from you. Just get into a uh, praise and worship family and stay in the word. But yeah, God wanted me to, uh, I believe he was showing me to release a word about the new thing, what he's doing in these last of the last days. People think, you know, like it, it's, it's two sides of the spectrum. It's, it's all doom and gloom or it's all just blessings, breakthroughs and rapture. There's no like middle ground. So what God's doing, of course, he's not going to let Satan just go ham <laughs> and you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And persecute everybody without the great harvest happening first, winning many, many souls. Millions of souls are about to be won. How do you think he's going to do that family? It's got to be something outside the box. It's actually, uh, it's the new thing, but it's actually somewhat of an old thing. The book of Acts 2.0 is what I call it. So it's going to be uh, not so much traditional in the four walls of the church building. And that's what, you know, 2020 was a big test and a little bit beyond to see. It was kind of like a litmus test to see where the church was at. And, uh, you know, sadly, many failed that test, but some repented and got back on track. Thankfully, praise God. But, uh, yeah, you, you could see that some people were compromising and... Um, you know, they were following the following the government over or following their business, following their job, their employer over God. Perhaps sometimes, you know, God will tweak some things and some may have been called to do certain things that that most weren't called to do, if you know what I mean. I don't want to get too controversial. I can't even mention names and stuff on here but about it. You guys already know. We had three channels banned. But um, yeah, so that was a big test. You know, God's remnant, it was really uh, the sifting of the, the wheat and the tares, the sheep and the goat, the sheep and the goats. So now it's been the purifying process and you know, the signs in the sky with the eclipse, with the aurora, aurora borealis being, being uh, seen all around the world in places it's never been seen before. Uh, Prophetess Celestial from the Master's Voice Channel, she prophesied that last year and it just happened a few days ago, that prophecy was fulfilled. And she said when that happens, when uh, you're, you'll be able to see the Aurora Borealis, the, the Northern Lights essentially, in, in places that it's not normally seen, that means that Christ's return is very near. And I've seen it's within about 10 years, before 2033 even. And um, she also said that means that uh, demonic activity, supernatural activity is gonna increase. So there, there are people out here uh, online that may be true prophets, but they're not even seeing the same things. We prophesy in part, but they're mocking her and I, others that are seeing things about supernatural things, such as the fallen angels coming back, uh, hybrid creatures like CERN, opening portals and what have you. These are things that are really going to happen. And it is biblical. But, you know, even your, your fellow brethren are mocking you. And it's just like, man, you're a, uh, some of them have big platforms. And it's like you're really doing a disservice to the body of Christ, illy equipping them. They're not being properly equipped because when some of these happen, just like the Bible says, some men's hearts will fail them for, the th for these things coming to the earth. So there's going to be some hard times, but we, we fear not. We got God with us, but that's why it's important to have the strategies. What's God showing us to do? You want to bust out that sword, the word of God to really cut these supernatural beings up in the spirit. I've had dreams to put up the guns and to use the word of God because guns will not work against some of these supernatural creatures like the Anubis, you know, the, the Egyptian God or whatever. There's a reason in history they have these, uh, these animals, these hybrid animal people, like half bird, half human, half dog, half humans, and they were worshiping these creatures. There's a reason they have them in the hieroglyphs. They weren't just on acid or, or ayahuasca and shrooms writing down hieroglyphs making things up these were actual creatures so that's that's real stuff and they are, they will be coming back they're already here some of them and you know the, the spiritual dimension is just right on top of us the veil thinning and that could be what the uh the northern lights signify that is being seen in uh 
other places because the the uh, magnetic field is getting weaker the, the pole shift will happen that's the sixth seal the pole shift which causes that great earthquake and uh, stars of fall it's actually a pole shift into a new dimension check out a word i have on the channel about that with details i actually experienced that pole shifts into the new earth <laughs> it, it's insane i know that sounds wild but uh so yeah that's what that the, the northern lights could be being seen the uh the magnetic field that was holding back these supernatural creatures the fallen angels from the other dimensions it's weakening so the the veil is thinning the supernatural veil is thinning the other dimensions are thinning so we're going to start seeing some of these things i mean i'm talking we'll be face to face with these creatures and you want to rebuke them some scriptures that i seem to use i seen an anubis in the dream a shotgun was hanging up like put the guns up and i was using scripture and i had my hand up to him like this I said, no weapons formed against thee shall prosper. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. If God be for us, who can be against us? And he just froze up. And I also did the same scriptures to a fallen angel. And this was a, an angel, like human looking winged creature, kind of beast ugly though, because they got all demonic right when they fell. So looking like a beast slash human with huge wings, probably like eight feet tall at least. But he was bowing down. He had to bow down once I busted out the sword, the word of God. So you got to know these scriptures, family. How many people are, are teaching this in the pulpits? So these are things that we really need to know and to properly equip the saints. Because if you don't, what are you going to do, man? And you want to practice. Because if you see these things happen in real life, most people, what are they going to do? They're going to run or flee or, or turn it and go into a ball. And that's probably going to be their demise, family. So, and, and another thing is, as Celestial said, when you see all these wonders in the sky, we're going to see like crazy sunsets, super beautiful. And uh, they can like do counterfeit uh, northern lights as well. She was saying to not go outside and be like, oh, wow, everyone come outside and look. She was saying stay inside and away from the windows. So that's something to pray about. Don't trust man. Don't trust what I'm telling you or anybody else for that matter. Take it to the Lord. He'll give you confirmation. He'll set you on the right path on that narrow path because it is narrow man broad is the way that leads to destruction but he'll keep you he'll guide you and show you the right the right ways because civil wars coming i've seen by next year civil wars coming famines blackouts um nukes going off in this country what else these supernatural creatures fallen angels the strong delusion warned about in the bible is the ufo reveal the alien reveal which are the fallen angels and the, and the nephilim their their uh, hybrids their offspring that made it with men and all these creatures that they made. And you can tell in Hollywood with, with uh, predictive programming, look at all the movies. I don't, I wouldn't recommend watching many of these movies. You know what I mean? You got to guide your eye gates and ear gates, but uh, look how many I, I have noticed just by being observant, like seeing previews and stuff that there's a ton of movies coming out that have hybrid creatures. They always show you what they're going to do, man, what they're, what, what they're about to release. They already have this stuff and all, you know, these portals and stuff like that. They've been had this. That's what CERN is. It's literally un unlocking the pits of hell, family. And look at the book of Revelation. It talks about these, the, the uh, pit opening and these weird creatures coming out. So it's biblical. But uh, as far as the new thing, <laughs> so it's not all the crazy stuff. World War III, though, it will happen also in, in more plagues. Uh, China, Russia, Islam conquering the United States. So that's all I was saying is you really want to be led by the Holy Spirit because he's going to guide you to refuge, to the right place. Some will be called to flee. Some will be called to be persecuted. But God's always going to be with you and he'll give you that peace. So no need to worry, family. But um, yeah, the new thing, man, is going to be taking over the seven mountains of influence in ways that even may seem secular. Like God's going to call some of his people like Green Berets to infiltrate the enemy's camp to even go into secular uh, businesses or institutions, but to shine that light and to really win the souls. Because, you know, Jesus was hanging out with the sinners, but he wasn't sinning himself. He wasn't compromising. So there's a big difference. You don't compromise. We're set apart. We're different. We bring those people up out of the, you know, we rescue them. It's like a rescue crew. So that's what God's doing with this new thing. Um, going outside of the four walls. I mean, there's going to be a, a point in time where you won't even be able to go to church. They're going to be, you know, the persecution is going to be that heavy. They're going to close all the churches. So we're going to have house church, just like the book of Acts. We're going to have house church probably on the low key, like in North Korea and, in, you know, in the, in the Middle East and in China and these underground churches, it's already happening. So that's a preview family. What's even going to come to the United States, but be encouraged. We're going to do greater works than Christ as he said himself. 
and that's in these times. I'm talking about even super, superpowers, family. <laughs> it's going to happen. That's why they're releasing all these Marvel and DC superhero movies at this time. They're going to have powers too. They're going to have the transhumanism. They're going to have all the technology, the crazy AI, the, the Matrix kind of stuff. But we're going to have actual powers from the Lord. But they, they're going to have some demonic powers too. It's like Moses versus uh, you know, the Pharaoh's two prophets or whatever. But in the end, they did, they did a lot of similar things. But in the end, they couldn't do everything that Moses was doing. So we're going to have the upper hand. We'll have more power. But it's going to be key not to be uh, caught up in all the miracle signs and wonders because the enemy is going to be working these things as well. So we have to have discernment. We have to stay prayed up, stay in the word of God. It feeds your spirit literally. And just be led by the Holy Spirit. There's nothing to worry about. Hallelujah, family. God's coming back so soon. It, it's so... It's so surreal. <laughs> I know people have been saying it for a long time, but man, we're on one mind, one accord. It's matching up the scriptures. You know, the prophecies are coming to pass at lightning speed. The writing is on the wall, family. I mean, if people ain't seeing it, even, even non-believers are saying, hey man, what's going on? They can even see that there's a, the, a battle versus evil versus good. It's really coming out to the open. The, the evil's not hiding. The darkness is really coming out. They're being blatant, family. So we gotta be even more bold. Hallelujah, let's go win these souls. Stay prayed up, family. Stay close to the Lord. Remember who you are, family. And speak those scriptures daily. Know who you are, family. Royalty, a royal priesthood in the army of God. Kings and queens, a royal priesthood, a, a peculiar people that has the authority. We have all power and authority to tread on trample on snakes and scorpions over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall do us harm. Any tongue that rises against us, I condemn right now in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and keep you, family. Holler if you need something. Peace, family.